here's how you turn one of these nine dollar survival knives from harbor freight into a pretty decent fire starter uh, kit uh, out of the box open this thing up and first thing first take the knife out take the plastic all that out now what i do is it's got all this stuff they put in here for you, you know, inside it's got the little compass that it'll work but uh i never had much luck with with those all right so here's your little your matches your buttons safety pin all this other stuff that you know was in the movie rambo so people like uh think it's worth something but it's not i would just get rid of all that and what i do is first thing first is a uh, leftover piece of bicycle rubber and put that over the, the handle uh, to give it a little better grip um, it, I can get it on there then slide it up all the way You can trim it, make it a little bit more even if you want. Now that it's gonna be, make it a little bit longer. So you have to flip it down to screw the cap back on. And by doing that, it'll actually make it a little bit more watertight. But before we get into anything more, what you're gonna do is make this thing completely watertight. And the way I did it was I took a number three Allen wrench. We're gonna back the lock nut out all right and here the blades got some glue to holding in place so just wrap it a couple times and it should should uh, come loose whoops ah that one doesn't want to come apart Let's walk over here to the fence and hit it a couple times and see what it does. Wow, it's, this one's in there pretty good. There it goes. It's starting to loosen up. There we go, pops right out. All right, the reason we're pulling this thing out is that the blade has a gap in here that'll allow water to get through as, as it can through the lock nut. So what we're gonna do is seal up with some silicone and some thread lock. But if you notice, the way this is set up, you split a piece of wood, and you can lash this to the front of it and you have a spear. So I would suggest trying to find a short enough number three that you can drop inside here uh, just to have as part of your kit. All right, so what we're gonna do, first off, we're gonna put just a little bit of silicone right above the knot here. On all the sides. You're not gonna need a lot. You're gonna still have to Clean it up with your finger when you're done. All right, just like that. Put my cap back on so I don't lose it. Get it, or uh, have it. All right, here we go. So we're gonna slide that on top. Nice and easy. Ah, man, I think I got it backwards. Sure do. And it goes right into place and make sure you get it in there all the way then what we're going to do here is put a little thread lock around the lock nut this uh goes pretty deep in here so i'd suggest giving it a full ring of uh thread lock 
Now this should actually pull the blade into where it needs to go without you having to bang it. There it goes, starting to draw the blade in. You can tighten that up. I wouldn't over tighten it because you, you know you don't want to put too much stress on the threads and strip them out. Take your finger and just like doing your caulk in the bathroom around the bathtub. You're gonna go and clean that up. Now it's gonna take an hour for this stuff to set. I've uh, sealed one up this way, dropped it in this uh, sink full of water. I couldn't get any uh, uh, moisture on the inside of it at all. So the next thing we're gonna do, these are a couple of the little cotton rounds like from Target, a dollar store if you can find them there. And I also picked up some, and these have nothing on them by the way. Uh, they're just cotton. You shred these and just peel them right apart and you use them as fire starter. Uh, just very good kindling to have in your pocket in case you are soaked. Um, you know, slide these in and there's your first, you know, and obviously you want to squeeze all the air you can out of them. Next thing you're going to want to bag up is, this is a mini Bic lighter. And uh, I get these, you know, pack of three for like $2, two twenty-five, something like that. And so, uh, it's not a bad idea to have one. These here are Strike Anywhere matches. And what I do is I put half a dozen inside a bag also. A bigger bag than I need to use, but that'll be all right. All right, put a half dozen of them in there. And the other thing that I like to do, because I mean, Strike Anywhere matches are great, but you know, sometimes they don't always want to work. Uh, you rough them up enough, and they they just won't fire on nothing. I like to take the side off the pouch. Or the or the uh, the box of matches rather, you can actually take both of them if you if you're uh, just want to make sure you have one to survive. And I drop this in with my lighter, and that way it doesn't accidentally cause enough friction with the matches as you're running around with that knife on your belt and cause a mini fire inside your handle. I'm gonna seal that up. Okay, so you have this. The other thing we're gonna put in here is a small pencil sharpener for using for kindling. And I'm gonna put some of that waxed line I have laying around the house, about five feet of it. And that's gonna go in there in case you wanna make a bow drill. Uh, and one more thing I'm gonna put in there is a mini lens. This came out of one of the jeweler uh, eyepieces that I had laying around the house uh, that I don't use anymore. And use that as a fire starter if you need to. So the first thing I'm going to do is pack, if you, I don't know if you'll be able to see in the light, um, down inside here, uh, one of the sides actually goes further down than the other, and that's the side I pack the uh, matches in. Then I put the lighter in it on the, on the other side of the, the, the matches, and they're, they'll be staggered on the inside a little bit. I take the cotton, I'm trying to roll it up as small as I can to fit in there also. Fit right about there. Now you don't want to overpack it because uh, too tight, because then you might not be able to get the stuff out when you need it. The uh, other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drop the, the pencil sharpener. Actually, uh, pencil sharpener will go inside there. You want to take your lens and drop that in there as well. Uh, I probably should have put it on with the other side of the screw so the screw doesn't scratch the lens, but uh, you, you can do that if you want. I'm gonna take the the wax line. I'm going to wrap it. Three fingers uh, seems to work for the way I, I pack it in here. I do this. Yeah, it's stuck. It's coming apart. Put it together like this. I wrap it and twist it. I try to make it real nice and tight. I take this 
I pack it on top of the compass because it's just a just a gap. So here, uh, I'm screw this end on. Put it in nice and tight. It's got a rubber, little rubber gasket to keep it from leaking as well. You're gonna fold the rest of your rubber down over the cap. I can get it. There you go. And there you go. That's it. If you actually want to go and braid yourself uh, some 550 cord like I did, uh, you can go right ahead. But you know, there's plenty of videos showing you whatever you want to do. This is one piece, and it's about I think eight and a half feet long. Um, I just that's so I, I like having a little bit of extra paracord on me for when. Uh, I'm out camping and such. But you can use this, we've batoned wood with this. The saw is nice and uh, sharp. It'll, it'll tear up uh, stuff like you need it to. Um, I said for nine bucks, I mean, it's it's pretty cheap. And I, I know there's better stuff out there and guys will argue that this is just a piece of garbage. But um, when you're on a budget and you need to have something, it's not bad to put one of these together and uh, upgrade when you have the money. Anyway, thanks for watching.